I said it. I told you that she blocked me. Ah? Huh? Okay. Eh? Hi guys, welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know it's been so long since you've seen my face here on YouTube. First of all, I'd like to apologize to my loyal subscribers <laughs> and watchers of my videos um, for being MIA for the past few weeks. I've been handling a lot of stuff and I just couldn't um, handle YouTube along with those other stuff that I was handling. But I'm back now and hopefully I'm back to be consistent okay so yeah welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing my lovely face you're welcome <laughs> my name is tarila i film about lifestyle family um vlogs and a lot of other fun stuff so please consider subscribing to this channel okay so today's video is going to be a story time and i decided to share this story because i feel like staying with family causes a lot of drama some type of family anyway so like for example you're in a new town or a new city and then you have an auntie or you have one uncle or one older cousin that's there and you're like oh let me just stay with this person till i find my feet i think it causes a lot of drama so in my opinion i feel like as much as possible avoid staying with family so um it was just that thought that prompted this story time and i thought what better way to make it come back to youtube than to share this very funny story time okay so if you remember i was in abuja last year so i got a contract job and then i had to relocate to abuja for a while i have an uncle in abuja i have an auntie in abuja but this auntie in abuja i've never met her well i had met her once when i was a baby but that doesn't count because i really had no memory of her and so i felt like it would be nice for me to just go stay with her get to know the kind of person that she is and like meet my cousins because them too no memory of them whatsoever it's not like my uncle, I even know him or anything. But I just felt like I should go and bond with my auntie, you get? She lives alone, she's single, you know, she's a jaye jaye auntie. Please, if you guys can hear a dog barking, ignore. <clears throat> so yeah, she's a jaye jaye auntie and I just felt like, okay, that would be, it would be nice to stay with her. I get to Abuja, I call her, hi auntie, I'm here. She's like, okay, her friend is at home, but that she's not around, she's in church. I landed in Abuja on a Sunday. So I got there, her friend was really nice to me. Oh, welcome, let me go and show you your room. Let me show you your room, this is where you'll be sleeping, blah, blah, blah. Ah, okay, thank you. I wanted to eat, she was so nice. Ah, what do you want to eat? Let me make it for you. Let me, I, I kid you not, this woman made the food, served me. Ah, I, I was even feeling somehow like, ah, let me do it now. But she was like, no, don't worry, I'll do it for you. I didn't think too much of it because I just felt like, okay, it's my first time here. Just wants to make me very welcome and everything but it was time to sleep now and because it was my first night there i saw a lot of doors i saw like let's say four doors when i was walking in so i just calculated okay there's another room there because it was like eight nine and my auntie's friend was still around so i, was, I just i was like okay she's sleeping over but there's another room there then there's this my room and of course my auntie's room so i just assumed that there's another room it's fine everything is fine you know woke up the next morning went to work she had already woken up before I did, so I still didn't suspect anything, nothing, nothing, you know. Even that morning, she was still very nice to me. Ah, what do you want to carry to work today? What do you want for breakfast? Let me make something for you. Ah. I was like, no, don't worry, I'm okay. So let's call this my auntie's friend, Auntie Dara. So all this while that I assumed that Dara was sleeping in another room, she was having her bath in the bathroom in my room. So I felt, I still didn't think so much of it, I just felt, oh, that room doesn't have a bathroom so a couple of days down the line um i woke up and then i went out to get some water and i saw auntie dara sleeping on the floor in the parlor ah! on the floor on the tiles not even on the couch or anything there was nothing like spread no like like uh like a cushion or like a duvet or something nothing was spread and it just it didn't sit well with me it didn't sit down well what was that english it didn't sit well it was it sit down well, it didn't go down well. I didn't like it, Sha. <laughs> I didn't like it. So, anyways, in the morning, I spoke to her. I'm like, ah, Auntie Dara, ah, I saw you sleeping on the floor. What happened? I even thought there was another room. She's like, oh no, that room is not even a room. Like, the guest toilet is there, and that's where we keep the inverter. So, I'm like, okay, cool. There are only two rooms in this house. There's a big bed in this room that I call it my room. You have your bath in there. 
those things are in there actually because um when i moved in there i saw like um shoes bags there were boxes and then the cupboard was filled with clothes so because she said it's my room i just thought ah okay maybe it's my auntie's things that she's not really using so when i saw auntie Dara sitting on the floor i'm like okay 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 this is auntie dara's room so at that point i was wondering ah, why is auntie dara not sleeping in the room what's going on this bed is big enough so i asked her she was like ah no 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 that she likes the floor ah that she likes the floor that she watches movies till like 2 a.m and she wouldn't want to disturb me like when she comes back into the room around 3 4 so ah I, no 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 i shouldn't worry about it that she loves to watch movies till early in the morning and she'll just sleep on the floor she loves it ah, i say you love it she said yeah she loved that that's ah that's her hobby i say okay oh. He still didn't sit well with me. One week went, two weeks, three weeks, and today I was still sleeping on the floor. So I made up my mind. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stay in an Airbnb. I had looked at some apartments. I had found some Airbnbs. I had already planned how I would go and inspect and everything. Mind you, during this period, and today I was still so nice to me. If she hears, <laughs> I was like, anytime I enter the kitchen like this, it's like a magnet for Auntie Dara because once I step into the kitchen, if I just count mentally, one, two, three seconds, and Dara is in. Hi, Benita, what do you want? Can I help you? Okay, let me do. Ah, I'm like, why are you so obsessed? Why are you so like, hey, what's the word now? Yeah, oh, English is escaping me today. That English for when you are territorial. <laughs> I think it's territorial. Why are you so territorial in this kitchen area? You know? When I enter, okay, when you want to eat, okay, do you want stew? What do you want? Let me do it for you. There was one day, <laughs> I was making in the mean, in the mean, in the mean. <laughs> I had already put the water on the fire, I stepped out to go and get my phone. By the time I came back, and Zara had already opened the indomie spice inside the water, she was about to pour the indomie. I said, Auntie Zara is indomie, I can make it myself. No, 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 let me help you. I'm like, I don't even make my indomie like this, I don't put the spice inside the water, I put the spice after the indomie is soft. There's no way to make it, no me, Benita. Let me do it for you. <sighs> I didn't know it's that you know me that day. Anyways, a few weeks went, and then when I was ready to like move out, I went and I had a conversation with my auntie. I'm like, ah, auntie, thank you for accommodating you, but um, I'm moving out. I've seen a couple of places. I've got my renovation allowance, and her expression was like, why? <laughs> that kind of for what? Why are you moving out? And then I was like, ah. Truth be told, I'm comfortable here, but I don't like the fact that your friend has been sleeping on the floor for almost a month. And she just smiled. She's like, ah, it's not as if Dara cannot sleep on my bed. Your bed is big. It's not as if Dara cannot sleep on your bed. It's not as if Dara cannot sleep on the couch. She just likes the floor. <laughs> I'm like, for real? She said, yeah, that she just likes the floor. That even before I came, every night that Dara would just be sleeping on the floor. Ah, again, this thing, I was all okay in my spirit. In my heart of hearts, I was like, ah, no, no, no. This is very suspicious. But she was like, no, ah, ah, no, 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 no. Like, you can't move out. I should not mention it again. Ah, no, 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 please. So, <laughs> to me, I feel like because I was there for just a couple of months with the contract job, right? Mansi just felt, ah, why? Like, I'm not here long term. Why would you? Like, my house is here. There's a big bed here. It's comfortable. I'm not disturbing you. So, like, why would you want to stay in another place? A couple of weeks went again, one month, two months, three months. I started noticing and Zara's things were reducing. First, all her shoes were gone from the cupboard. And then she started packing her boxes. So there was one day I saw her dragging a box outside. So I asked her, I was like, Ah, Zara, are you traveling? She was like, Oh, that she's going to Lagos for a burial, but that she has something she's not using again. So she has packed it and she wants to send it to Lagos to somebody to use. I was like, Okay. I think a couple of days after that, the whole room was empty. Like, there was not a single trace of Auntie Dara's property in that room again. Everything was out. Every single thing. The clothes in the cupboard, everything, her um, toiletries in the bathroom, everything was out. So at this point, I'm thinking, ah, Auntie Dara has moved out of this house. So my auntie didn't say anything. So I was thinking, ah, should I tell my auntie about this? You know, I wasn't sure if my auntie knew that she had moved out. <coughs> I'm like okay is it the burial she talked about but why did she pack all her things so i called her ah auntie dara where are you i didn't even say oh you moved your things so i was just like ah auntie dara i will not see you she was gone for like two weeks as at the time i had called her 
It's like, ah, I remember that period I told you about oh, that she's currently in Lagos, but she'll be back by weekend. She'll be back. Kill, kill. Ah, we are missing you. I said, oh, I'm missing you too, baby. So coming back soon. Coming back soon. Ah, okay. They're yeah, coming back soon. No problem. Maybe I should have told my auntie that. Ah, and see, you see, this is your friend. She has moved out to me. I don't know. So, <laughs> um, not too long after that, my auntie called me. She's like, sit down. Ah, when she said that, sit down. I just looked at that face. I said, okay. Dang, dang, dang. Trouble don't come. But are you aware Dara has moved out of this house? I say I'm not aware, oh, but I'm aware that she packed that thing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I thought you knew that she had moved her thing. Because what she told me was that she's in Lagos for a burial. Apparently, as then I went to Lagos, I went to go and tell my other auntie, that's the, the first girl, the seniorest auntie in the clan. I, I'm so disrespectful. I just came in. I just took over her space, moved all her things to one side, shifted all her clothes, I put in on my clothes. Ah, ah. Then my auntie, just because her niece is around, can you imagine? She, Dara, that has been with my auntie since. My auntie just is just maltreating her because her niece is here. Can you imagine? How can she be sleeping on the floor for three months and my auntie did not see anything? Ah, ah. I can't the reason. I can't the reason. I say. But I asked you why I'm sleeping on the floor. I said, Auntie Dara, come and sleep on the bed. You say you like to watch movies till midnight. And then the part about me being disrespectful, ah, on more that one, it really shocks me because I'm like, how? I see you in the morning, good morning, Auntie Dara. You want to cook for me? I said, no, don't worry, Auntie Dara, I'm fine. I will just go. When I come back, if I see you, good evening, Auntie Dara. I stay on my own. So where did the disrespect come from? That part about moving her things to one side this was what happened <laughs> because honestly i was living out of my box for three months and if you know me i'm the kind of person who likes to plan my outfits for the week so usually on a saturday i'll bring out everything i'm wearing for the week sometimes i even plan for three weeks everything is just there bam not that on monday i'm thinking oh what will i wear today what will i wear today and it was really difficult for me but i was bringing it out i only fold it put it on top of my box just because i didn't want to i didn't want to overstep the only time I put my clothes inside the cupboard, so I had my birthday photo shoots and the clothes were dry clean. So I asked ah, Auntie Dara, I just dry cleaned this clothes, so I've got a photo shoot on Saturday. Can I please hang it in the cupboard so it doesn't get squashed because I can't put it in my box. She was like, okay, she moved her things with her hands and I hung it there. Saturday, any one more, I carried my thing. I went for my photo shoots. That's what she went to Lagos to go and remix and tell me it to my aunt. Ah. Or more i was just like what so this my auntie in abuja was now like oh i feel so bad my friend oh dara is so heartbroken at that point i was just looking at her like what are you saying like really she's heartbroken here eh? they will look me was my own i came to you i said i'm not comfortable with this arrangement i want to go i want to go you say i should not go and dara likes to sleep on the floor now if you want to twist it I don't appreciate this anyway so i just kept quiet she finished talking that oh she feels so bad hey eh? that dara has been feeling so dejected that she's not even caring that she just left her to sleep on the floor oh my friend sorry you ah, and you know i was not aware that she was as broken and she has moved out of your house with you no vex me i was already angry i said no 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 i'm leaving this house forget it <coughs> now at this point <coughs> Because Auntie Dara had moved her shoes and everything, ah, I said instead of coming back, removing shoe and putting it inside my box, let me go spread my shoe in the cupboard where there is space now. So after having this conversation with my auntie, I packed all my shoes from there, removed everything, my wigs that were hanging, I packed everything. Put, in fact, all my things I packed is I put inside my box. I said I'm leaving this house. As of the next day, my auntie called me. I was already at work. She called me. Then he said, I don't like this. I don't like this. I said, What happened? You have packed all your shoes. You have removed all your things. You put everything back inside your box. Why will you do that in your auntie's house? This office will be comfortable. Uh -uh. I'm not thinking. Hey, is it no you that say your friend is heartbroken? Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> oh my. I'm like, which kind of wala? Like, what is all this? Like, Why are you sweating my life for Christ's sake? She said, no, 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 no. She doesn't like it. I should put all my things back where I put it. I should bring everything out and feel at home. Now, what is this? You and Dara are putting me in the middle. How many months are you here? Can you come? Can you come? Can't you just manage? Two of you, you are putting me in the middle. I don't like this. I say, ah, so, 
it's all about you now this whole situation is about you okay oh i came back i brought out my sins jj <laughs> so she will not be angry then i spoke to my mom like okay maybe my mom should call her and talk to her that it's fine i just want to leave i just want to go and stay with my friend or my colleague i just want to go it didn't work because my mom called her and she was telling my mom that no 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 that she will not like it if i leave her house she won't like it hey, good that's how my mommy called me i was begging you that please oh she doesn't want trouble in the family she doesn't want any trouble in the family i should not leave the house <laughs> see bondage living in bondage guys living in bondage and i was like no 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 i should not leave the house i should just endure <sighs> anyway i said okay oh, i'm still here oh. that's how auntie dara came back she didn't move back in but what she started doing was she would come in she would cook just with my auntie they're like 9 10 she come and call me benita okay come and lock the door i'm going that's what she did though. see i like, left that abuja that's what she did She'll just come sometimes early in the morning. Sometimes when I'm back from work, I'll see her there already. She'll come and cook. But sometimes she'll have my auntie will have dinner together. Sometimes she'll go and just with my auntie. Sometimes my auntie will never be around. She'll just be there chilling eight, nine, or ten. She'll go to wherever it is that she was staying. But I just felt like she didn't want to share bed. She just because I think her and my auntie have been friends for a while. And she had been living in the house with my auntie so she just felt like ah, who is this one like why will you just come and take my space i also feel like maybe my auntie didn't discuss this with her i guess it's your house but you could have been like oh my niece is coming she'll be staying in your room for a while and there also should have just like ah, just lock up do you guess it's for a few months i don't have leprosy the bed is big enough i'm not disturbing you if you are the kind of person that is territorial and you tell me oh this is my side of the bed you can stay here I don't like this i don't you know that kind of thing but like she just acted like everything was fine but she's a pretender that but i feel like she was still looking for something to use and pin on me because one day so i was just on my own with jj i was watching tv in the parlor then i got my auntie's call more like a flash so i went to her and i was like ah you called me and zara said i said it i told you that she blocked me ah huh? hey okay? i was just on my own from where to where to where how apparently she auntie dara tried to call me that night he didn't go through <clears throat> then my auntie called and he went through she now told me to i blocked her why will i block her i said i don't even have your number saved on my phone she now fled up again you that i call i used to call you to check up on you how can you tell me that you don't have my number you used to call me i said i'm good with numbers yeah some numbers i don't need to save because down the line i'm not gonna need your number but now that i'm here eh, once once so I've I kind of memorized it so I know your number. I don't need to save it. I don't have it saved. I didn't block you. I told my auntie, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Uh, I told my auntie, I said it's your friend. She has a personal vendetta against me. You need to check it very well. So that one ended. Uh, another day I was on my own JJ. I greeted her. So it was in the afternoon. But then you cannot choose when you will greet me. Some days you will greet me, some days you will not greet me. I say Auntie Dara, impossible. It's not possible. Because I know that you are looking for something to use. I'm going to tell my auntie that, oh, I'm rude. I'm not greeting you. I cannot give you that leverage. She was just looking at me. Like, ah, is it me that I talking to? I say, yes. I say, yes, I can't give you that kind of power. So I've been greeting you. But in case you did not hear me, Auntie Dara, good afternoon. And then I went my way. So after that, I'll just greet her back on side. In fact, she too, she was staying out of my way. It was just a very, she's just a very petty auntie. Very, very petty auntie. So anyways, that's how we kept on living in the house. Every day I would be complaining to my mommy, I want to leave this house. Mommy, I want to leave this house. There was one time I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm like, you know what, let me even go and stay in my uncle's house. I told my auntie, oh, I'll be going to my uncle's house for the weekend or for a day. Let me just go first. I went, I felt so free, you know, like, you know, a bird that the cage has been opened. I felt so free and so good. <laughs> So, anyways, that's how I manage, 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 manage myself for till my contract ended. Now, my contract ended on a Friday. This is how bad it was. Friday, one o'clock, I was on a plane, ready to come to Lagos. It wasn't, it wasn't a comfortable situation for me, so I couldn't even be like, oh, my contract ends on Friday. Let me still stick around to Sunday. I didn't even finish the full day at work. Eleven a.m. like this. Pew, I left for the airport to start coming back to my Lagos, JJ, because 
what kind of I, I i i went through a lot when i was in that i went through a lot and my auntie is like very carefree she's <clears throat> not nonchalant she's just carefree like she's the like i said in the beginning she's a jay jay person so she doesn't like stress like why are you people stressing me sort yourselves out that kind of thing like sort yourselves out so most times she'll just come back she doesn't even know that drama has happened in the house how are you everybody okay cool 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 how's your day cool 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 she just enter our room and lock door then i was not suspecting that my auntie that ah maybe true true we are not caring because i think my auntie too likes her space so she, she probably didn't want her friend to sleep in her room i don't know but her friend used to stay there my auntie used to stay in her room to be on her bed we'll be just sitting, laughing and everything i don't know i didn't even really understand the dynamic of that friendship i was just it was just very very weird so that brings us to the end of this story time i hope with these few points of mind i've been able to convince you and not confuse you <laughs> that stay with family sometimes causes a lot of drama so if you can stay by yourself stay by yourself even stay with friends ah omo please just stay by yourself i beg because it causes a lot of drama even months after i had left abuja i saw that my first auntie the older one that they reported me to and she's like, ah, hmm, they need sir. I say, Auntie, what did I do? What did I mm. I hope you have settled with Auntie Dara. I'm just like, it's once after I don't even speak to Auntie Dara again. I didn't we're not fighting. I did not do anything. They just look at me. Hmm. They need sir. Ah. I say, Ugao. Ugao. Eh? Ugao. What I don't know. I know nothing of this. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed my story time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!